All right, let's do a little uh, graph matching here. Okay, so one of these is a function, one is its derivative, and one is its second derivative. So let me remember that if f prime of x is less than 0, then f is decreasing. If f prime of x is greater than 0, then f is increasing. And also remember that less than 0 means below the x-axis. Greater than 0 means above the x-axis. Similarly, if f double prime is less than 0, then f of x is concave down. So if the graph of f double prime is below the x-axis, then the graph of f is going to be concave down. If f double prime is greater than 0, then f is going to be concave up. So if the graph of f double prime is, below, is above the x-axis, f is going to be concave up. Let me write these uh, findings down on the side. Okay, so if the graph of f prime of x is below the x-axis, f is decreasing. If the graph is above the x-axis, f is increasing. All right, if the graph of f double prime of x is below the x-axis, then f is going to be concave down. If the graph of f double prime is above the x-axis, then f is going to be concave up. Okay, let's take a look at this function here. We see that this function is increasing till we get to right here. Then it decreases then it increases. So if this is the function, its derivative is going to be positive, so above the x-axis till here. Then it's going to be 0 here, because it has a horizontal tangent line. Then it's decreasing, so from this x to this x, the derivative is going to be below the x-axis. And then they have a you have a horizontal tangent line, so then its derivative is going to be 0. And then on this part, the function is growing, so now its derivative is going to be above the x-axis. If we take a look at this one, it has exactly those properties. So where f here has a horizontal tangent line, this function crosses the x-axis. So that horizontal tangent line crosses the x-axis f prime needs to be positive here, and we see that indeed this graph does lie above the x-axis. So this function is positive for all of these x values. It needs to be, if it's the derivative, it needs to be negative between these two x values, and indeed it is negative between those two x values. Finally, if it's the derivative, then it needs to be positive from this x value on, because from this x value on, f is growing. Indeed, this function is positive from that value on. So right now, it's seeming like this is f, this is f prime, but we need to make sure by examining this function here. So to figure out if this is f double prime, we're going to look at the concavity of f. So here, we see that f is concave down until right around here, because that looks like that's around the spot where the tangent lines go from being above to below. So f looks concave down there and concave up here. Well, if f is concave down, then the graph of f prime needs to be below the x-axis. Indeed, for these values of x, this function's graph is below the x-axis. For this portion here, where f is concave up, the graph of the second derivative needs to be above the x-axis. Indeed, this function here, for these values of x, is above the x-axis. Okay, so this is going to be f double prime.